Hi, Year Nines. It's Miss Lewis here uh, to talk about the Religious Studies GCSE. I'm the um, Head of Religious Studies and I want to tell you that our subject is probably the best subject there is. It's fascinating and you should probably do it. And the reason why you should probably do it is because we look at things which affect all of us, which are fundamental to being human. And I think all of us, if we have a brain and any imagination, probably ask some of the questions that we'll be addressing in our course. So let me explain. Our GCSE has two kind of distinct halves. The first half, we look at religions themselves. We choose to focus on Christianity and Islam because we feel like that best reflects the area where we live. So we look at what are the core beliefs here? What is it the Christians believe? What is it that they believe about God and the afterlife? How are we going to get to heaven if it exists? Let me do the same for Islam. You know, what do Muslims believe about God, the afterlife? How to be a good Muslim? What does it take to be a good Muslim? Then we look at what these religions have to say about the way we live our lives, how religious people practice their beliefs. That just means the things that they do. This is fascinating. This is brilliant because it enables us to live in a diverse society. We get to understand the people who live in our community. Um, we also get a better understanding of ourselves because these questions are intrinsic to all human beings. All of us are affected by whether there's a God or not, whether there's any life after death and whether there's any real purpose in life, whether there's such a thing as living a good life or not. So these are questions that we will consider seriously and it doesn't matter whether you're religious or not and I can't emphasise that enough. You can be a very, very good religious student, religious studies student if you are religious. You can be a very, very good religious studies student if you're not religious. They're both equally valid viewpoints in our eyes and we want to listen and we want to help you to develop your own ideas. They may change as you progress throughout the course. That takes us on to our study of philosophy and ethics. So we're going to be looking at, for example, issues of crime. Why do we punish people in the way that we do? Issues of peace and conflict. Is it ever acceptable to go to war? What do we do about nuclear weapons? Issues of the family. It's changed a lot over the last 50 years. What does religion have to say about the nature of the family? What are non-religious arguments and ideas about the role of the family now? How do religions deal with the issue of homosexuality? Um, how does modern society now accept um, homosexuality? Must emphasise, an RE classroom, a really good RE classroom, has lots of discussion, has lots of debate, but it also deals sensitively with issues. Our last topic, religion and life, we look at some really sensitive issues. For example, euthanasia, that means is it ever all right to help somebody to end their own lives? We look at abortion and our treatment of animals. It's a fascinating topic. If you, like, if you are somebody who likes to discuss and li likes to debate, and likes to listen to other people's opinions and develop your own, then I really strongly recommend that you consider this course. It um, is very, very well respected by universities and it'll lead you into a really broad range of careers from law to medicine, to social work, to journalism, to pretty much anything I can think of, to be honest, because it's so well regarded because you have to develop those really strong written skills. It's assessed with exams only, there's no coursework. We prepare you thoroughly to um, achieve really well. We have a great track history, but really good results here in Bingley Grammar School. So join us and um, be part of our success. Okay, if you have any questions, then please email. Um, please consider it. It's a fantastic course. You'll really, really enjoy it. And I think you will really, really find that it helps you to become um, a more interesting person who has a better understanding of the world and yourself as well as the passing exam. Thank you very much. Thank you for listening.